Hey you guys, it's Brandon 302 and today guys we are back with another video. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a button that will teleport you to a certain game just like this one right here. So you will click this button right here and then it will show the areas and everything and then once you click this it will teleport you to the game. So let's get right into this. Alright, so first, what you guys want to do is, if you if you guys just want to download this right now, um, go down into the description, uh, click the link there where it says uh, Teleporter GUI, do the steps there, and then download this, uh, it might look sketchy, but <laughs> just download this. Once you download it, you want to right click on Starter GUI, and insert from file find the file of the teleporter GUI and then it will be in the game just like what I showed you but if you guys want to make this from scratch I will show you guys and um, for the people who did download it should still watch um, because there is some stuff you have to do that I don't like say on the teleporter so first you want to add this screen GUI right here um, then we're going to be adding a frame to it. You guys can name this stuff whatever you want, but I'm going to be making this frame the same size as, um, the same size and position as the one I just showed you guys. So position, there we go. Now, um, now what we're going to do is in screen GUI, I'm going to be putting a text button this is the this is going to be the teleport button so uh, you guys can edit this however you want once again but I'm just gonna have it as that right now I'm gonna be naming this teleport the frame uh, just keep it as frame and then let's add a text button to this put it in the corner right there like that I'm I'm doing like a very quick job of this but you guys can take as much time as you want on this so now I'm going to be putting this as X scale the text and let's do background transparency let's actually make it zero and then let's make it red like that now in the frame, I'm going to be adding a text label just like that. Uh, I'm going to be probably hmm, putting it all like that. Make the background transparency one and then make it say like areas, just like I showed you guys. Scale the text and make whatever font you want. I'm probably going to do like uh, this bold one right here. It looks good. Then in the frame, in the frame, you guys are going to have to add, um, in the frame, once again, you guys are going to have to add the last button, which is the button that's going to be teleporting you. So let's put that right. Let's just add that right here, just like that. Um, I'm, you guys can put the background of it to whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave this like red. Um, then let's do like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I'm just gonna be naming it off of like planets and stuff. Scale the text once again, and let's name, let's do like weird, weird ones for this. All right. Now what you guys are going to have to do, you guys are going to have to, um, for the people who are doing this scratch once again, you guys are going to have to insert a local script, local script, there you go. And then I'm just going to be copying what's on this right here. So you guys can take this right here, what's inside of this, uh, just type that all in but here is where you guys have to know 
that number zero I have right there, the number zero is where the is where the game ID is gonna have to go. So the ID of the game you're wanting to teleport them to, you will have to put the ID there. So I'm just gonna leave it at zero because I don't want to teleport anyone right now. Um, and yeah, you guys can just name that whatever you want as well. Uh, I'm gonna be naming it teleport because it actually it actually works with the close script. So now you guys are gonna have to put a local script into the close script. Copy this right here. And yeah, just put that all in. So what this does is it makes the visibility of this frame um, visible. So visible false. So it turns the visibility off. And um, yes, now to actually turn it on, you guys will have to put a local script into the teleport button now, and then um, have the same thing, just like this, but to make it so it says true. Um, so it's the same thing as the close, it's just it has to be true. Um, and... Well, it, yeah, it's almost the same thing. As you can see, they do have a little bit of differences. Make the teleport one the one that will open up the GUI. Make sure it says true, and make sure it says parent dot parent dot frame. Whatever you have the frame called. Whatever you have this frame called right here. Um, you will have to change it in the, in the teleport. So... Now I'm just going to add a little bit, um, let's just add a little bit more, I'm just going to duplicate it. So I'm just trying to show you guys what it would look like if you had like multiple of these things on here. So um, if you have way more and it goes past the screen, I'd recommend putting in a, um, a scrolling frame instead of just a normal frame. But this one, I'm just showing a normal frame. So, yeah, you guys can change this. Like, let's make this one blue. Let's make this one green right here. And then, I'm going to name this, like, moon. And then, let's do, like, that. Oh, that actually looks cool. Then we can do like I don't know the sun. I know it's I know it's a star, not a planet, but whatever. You know you could just do stuff like this, and there you go. Now it all works. Um, for all these teleports, like if you wanted to teleport like the Earth, say if you wanted to teleport it to like an Earth game, you have to change the ID in there. For this Moon one, you will have to change the ID in there. So every single one you will have to change whatever game you wanted to go to. So now let's go test it. First, I actually forgot to tell you, you guys will have to click on the frame and go into uh, this right here, this box that's called visible. You guys will have to turn it on. You guys will have to make sure it's active. Sorry. You guys will have to make sure this is active and then make the visibility off. All right, so let's go into the game. Click the button. As you can see, um, there's Earth, Moon, Sun. So when we click on them, it will, it should teleport you, but here it doesn't teleport you because I am in Roblox Studio. But then when you click this, will take you right out of it and as you can see you're right here so it does that for this one as well um, but yeah you guys can do whatever you want with this I think this looks awesome it's actually really really good and really helpful if you wanted to teleport someone to another game um, like I do have like I have for some of my games so thank you guys so much for watching this video subscribe smash the like button Tell me in the comments if you guys need any help, if you guys have any glitches or anything with this. 
um it's very simple to make but if you guys have any questions say it down in the comments subscribe for more click that button in the top right to see more of my click the button in the top right to see more of my um roblox scripting videos so yeah once again thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys all in the next one and bye